here you are after two hours and a half of drive uh, from Adelaide we are at the Kurong National Park specifically into the 42 miles uh, campground and uh, I'm having a look around to see how it is because last night we arrived quite late and uh, I did not have time to have a look where things are and uh, if we are in the right location for the tent. Tell me what do you see? Is a wombat? Yeah, it looks a burrow for a wombat. Tan 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 tan. You want to show? Um, I wanted to show my sea sponge right now, and it's really cool. Why? It can, because it can be a tennis racket. Like this? What's the, what's the plan for today? Uh, the idea is uh, um, visit a little bit the Kurong National Park. And um, so we've been doing a quick visit to the um, a beach um, nearby here. And then we just had breakfast. And then the, this afternoon we're going to visit a uh, um, uh, called wild catch fish. Uh, it's not Kurong Wild Seafood. They have a shop but also they do uh, interesting uh, tours in the area. So, Back let's see how it goes. Say hi to Birdie, everybody! Yes, we are. I got. I thought we had a four wheeler, not a two wheeler, because we have four wheelers. One, two, three, four. Four wheeler. Uh... <laughs> yes, here we are. T3 crossing. Obviously, it's closed because high water. Interesting. We should cross the the sea with this car. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next one. There's a 40 mile per hour post on it. Yeah. In the sea. Yeah. You have to go 40 That's miles per That's hour. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yes. 40, 40 kilometers per hour in the sea. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay. Salt Creek. Interesting this area. So this area is a protection area for many migratory birds and there are a few international treaties between different countries, Japan, China, and Korea and also uh, Australia. And uh, this area was also used in the past to collect salt. <laughs> Let's go. Imagine if we put a sea sponge in the lake, like sponge. Like sponge. This one, it goes for a couple days. This one, just one hour. Where are we going? That direction? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Escaping. <laughs> 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 Okay, <laughs> so next step we're gonna see Meninji. Your destination will be on the right. Hello everyone, welcome back on Agri Adventures. Uh, today we are a little bit outside. Today we are traveling down in the Kurong and uh, I found out a way to stop down here and have a chat with uh, Tracy and Glenn. How are you going? Good day. How are How you? you? Uh, so would you like to tell us uh, a little bit more about you? Can I start with you, Tracy? Uh, okay. About your past, like what you've been doing, this was always what you've been doing or uh, not? Well, I actually come from a dairy farm background. Um, okay. My parents had a dairy farm here in Meningi uh, and I started work at the local bank when I was 16 years old and after a while I met Glenn and became part of this fishing business. And uh, what about you Glenn? Interestingly enough my first job was also uh, in the bank. I was born in Melbourne Okay. Um, yeah and first job was in the bank so I was clearly designed to be a fisherman. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get out in the country mm -hmm. I really didn't like the city uh, but it wasn't until I got over here around about 30 that I uh, went out with a bloke that had a fishing license over mm -hmm. here and it just connected to me wow this is something I, I want to do this this is something I can do and um, I'd never really thought that I could buy a fishing license it's a you know pretty mm -hmm. big deal uh, now Tracy I was thinking um, in regard uh, the the company the Kurong uh, Wild Seafood uh, when uh, did you start by the way when did you start well, Glenn and I started as a partnership. Mm -hmm. we, uh, he was a sole trader and then, we, then when we got together, he, we decided that we would 
um, start processing fish ourselves and over time we grew and then we started Kurong Wild Seafood because when we used to go to farmers markets and other events people would go oh is this aquacultured fish and we wanted to show people and we wanted to tell the story mm -hmm. that we were actually a wild catch fishing business mm -hmm. we came from the Kurong so we wanted to make sure that everyone knew it was wild seafood from the Kurong mm -hmm. and okay so um, for people that will be interested to uh, get your fish, I mean the fish that you catch in the Kurong, where do they can find it? Well, we we have a cooperative called Fairfish okay. that we supply. Yeah. Uh, it's a fisherman direct supply model that mm -hmm. um, people can just order fish or find a retailer that has the fish. We also do deliveries up through the Adelaide Hills to the um, Closey supermarkets, up through Little Hampton, Lobethal, Balhanna, Nairn. If people look for us, they can find us, and if they're not sure, they can just ring us. Okay. Or, or so come on down. Come, oh, come here. And that's, a, that's probably a good thing to do. When you're coming over, you can come and stop, yeah. buy some fish. Yeah, we, we sell from the door, mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, at the same time, we can talk about any of the issues that people want to want to ask uh, as hard as they are or, or what we've been up to this week. You mentioned before what's uh, your website just to, to find where you are and what can what they can find what Okay, well we actually run two websites. Ah, One's, okay. One is for our fishing business which is called Kurong Wild Seafood. Mm -hmm. But if people uh, want to come and um, do a behind the scenes factory tour and tasting, we actually have a to a business as well called Kurong Wildside Tours. Okay, so least the well is not just fish to take home, but you can actually come over and have a real fish experience. Well, we even um, can cater for lunches if we if we have a minimum number of four people. We'll actually cook lunch for you. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's a, what do you want to add more? And then you're gonna you're gonna take them fly. No, I'm just joking. Are you gonna take somebody around to the to the Kurong? We can actually take people out on a decky for a day tour. They can actually go out with Glenn and experience what it's like to be a commercial fisherman on the Kurong. Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to say now. Uh, I think you should come out with us, yeah, shouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at, at this point, what am I doing? I mean, I must. Be, okay, okay. So, perfect. So, sharing uh, the life in the Kurong uh, of a fisherman through an experience. That's what you're gonna find when you kind of come over here. Partly, so much because I love my meat. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nothing. To stand out by doing those sorts and, of things. And uh, when it, people can see you on the... He didn't get the high. Let's take again. <laughs> Much Is your favourite part of the boat ride? The boat ride? Okay. 
first thing the acceleration of the boat never expecting that uh, second thing uh, the opportunity to um, drive the boat which is something else I'm um, I'm drive the motorbike or I drive a car never driven never drive drove drove um, a boat yeah same and also another thing that I of course you never <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another thing I found really cool it was uh, um, the visit to the different um, part of the Kurong. I've driven Speaking a bus. Of, did you drive a bus? Okay, I, I was not aware. I'm your dad. I drove um, um, a, a water bus when I was in water. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Good. Good to ask mommy what's happened over there. Yo, yo. Okay, so. Next is almost mm. back. It's time to mm. go back to the mm. 42 mm. miles, excuse me, 42 miles campground down to the south of the Kurong National Park and having our meal, which is going to be a dinner on the fire. Yay! Enjoy! Oh, mm -hmm.